Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So you've recently or you've always seen me put a low ESR capacitor on most of my builds whether it's a Panasonic or a Rubicon and um, I used to tend to just stick to the Panasonic 1000 microfarad 25 volt low ESR capacitor because this usually cleans up my video feed and it protects the overall components from any voltage spikes and even reduces voltage drops which is very good. However lately I had a quad with a 35 volt Robicon 470 microfarad low ESR capacitor which had terrible noise, OSD flickers, basically the OSD is non-existent on specific throttle levels. So I said, hey, it's such a tiny capacitor. Let's remove it and let's go to my normal standard Panasonic low ESR capacitor. I stuck it in expecting to see some improvements. Actually, uh, I, saw, I, saw, I saw the opposite. It wasn't improvements. It was a bit worse. So what I'm seeing is that actually I think the Rubicons are slightly better than the Panasonics. It's a bit noticeable. However, the data is still not here just yet. I'm currently working on the data. I kept that quad the way it is so um, I can get more caps and then we can actually test it on, on that quadcopter. It's actually the Teensley. It's running in the Airbot Omnibus with the Typhoon 35 amp ESCs and uh, F60 motors. It's, it's terrible noise. Absolutely terrible. Um, if you want to kind of get to, I'm not done with the video yet, but it'll be up very soon. Um, if you want to kind of see how bad it is, you can see the trailer video I have on the channel. The quad with the FPV footage with the OSD just going all crazy. That's from the Teensley. Now, like I said, I was super surprised to find out that the Rubicon was better. Uh, soon I'm going to be bench testing these. However, I'm waiting to bench test them because I've ordered more caps. Uh, there's a lot more low ESR capacitors than we all know about. There's even caps that cost like two bucks or three dollars which is pretty damn expensive because these are like 50 cents, 20 cents a piece. So yeah, so that's something to take note of. So, so far what I'm seeing actually just, you know, Rubicon is, is very good. I'm not saying the Panasonic is shit. I'm just saying Rubicon is slightly better uh, from what I've noticed. And um, I think I think it's, uh, it's gonna, uh, well, we're gonna have to wait until the data comes out. But on that quad, it's very noticeable that the Rubicon was better. Now I have good news for you. <clears throat> Guess who's selling Luis our capacitors? Well, we have Banggood calling them the Multirotor FM Series capacitors. Now they don't, the FM Series is basically Panasonic. So I had to order some just to see what they're gonna send us. If it's original, if it's some Chinese brand. And I was super surprised. Let's take a look here. Okay, once it focuses. This is actual Rubicon low ESR capacitors. These are 25 volt 470 and they do have a thousand microfarad. Uh, I believe it's a th the thousand microfarad, yeah, is a 35 volt um, low ESR capacitor. So I would definitely go get some. They're pretty cheap, they have them for a good price, and they come in a pack of 10. So they just come like this. So these are always good to have. It's a big plus, and um, they're very good. I mean, 25 volt, you're gonna be good if you're running a 4S, 5S, you're gonna have to get some 35 volt capacitors. So now you can get them from Banggood and which I am going to start getting them from Banggood because it's cheaper for me Especially here in Europe. I used to buy from a US warehouse, which um, Basically shipping was eighty dollars. So it was ridiculous um, So now I'm going to just that's it I'm gonna switch over to Rubicon because even though for my testing seems like Rubicon's better Even if the FM series is a little bit better. This is going to be cheaper for me because I do tend to buy a lot and um yeah, so that's a good plus here. So I'm very proud of Banggood so for getting us some originals, but they should really fix the the title of the, the, the post because um, these are Rubicons what they're providing us with. So I did order the 1000 also to check them out and I did order another pack just to see if they mix and match because the pictures show Rubicon and the title saying FM series and the FM series are the Panasonic. So maybe they think low ESR is FM, I don't know. But um, yeah, but yeah, well that's good news. So if you're thinking of getting those Banggood capacitors, they are Panasonic. I'll leave a link down below. Um, it's going to be an affiliates link. So if you can use it, it will really help the channel and uh, help me bring more things in and just to dig through it and see if it's any good or not. So yeah, guys, so this is good. Uh, if you're looking for Panasonic, low, I mean, low ESR capacitors, which are good, Rubicon's good and uh, Maytek also knows what they're doing. Uh, they do provide you. This is actually provided with the Maytek F405 all-in-one flight controller now. They used to provide you with one, just like this, but now they give you four 35 volt 220 microfarad low ESR capacitors. So if you like running 5S's, you're gonna be good to go.
So, well, that's concluded for this video, guys. I really do recommend you grab a couple. Uh, if you don't want to put one on each ESC, at least grab a, the 1000 microfarad. I'll leave a link to both of them down below. Uh, one is always better than nothing. So even if you actually just added one tiny one to the whole overall system, uh, it'll reduce electrical noise and uh, not by much, but you know, the more the better. And well, that's really it guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. The data behind all this will be coming up soon once I receive more low ESR capacitors from different brands. And um, yeah, but I'm just gonna tell you, I'm gonna be sticking to these because it's the cheapest option for me but i will be testing everything for everyone because people in the u.s you guys have uh it's, it's a little bit easier for you to get this stuff for a lot cheaper uh for me it's it's hella difficult and i have to pay even customs for these I, I really can't i have to pay customs for this this is ridiculous sometimes um and well that's it guys so i really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys have any questions or any suggestions feel free to let me know and i will be making a excel sheet like i did with the latency testing on the transmitters uh for the low esr capacitors it's going to be very detailed and i will test the low esr the actual low esr number of each capacitor on my oscilloscope with some kind of waveform generator and uh, we can calculate exactly how good it is and what's its real esr value so this way you could kind of really get an idea of how good they are and that's it guys so i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you next time see you guys